and welcome back. It is once again time for Final Fantasy 16. Last we left off, uh, Hugo Kupka, he attacked our old home, our childhood home, in an attempt to lure us out, and, uh, well, we came. And, uh, ooh we we sure wiped the floor with him, with Kupka and his men. Also, we found out that uh, Torgal, our, our dog friend, our doggo, is an ice wolf and can cast magics and might be possibly a dominant. I don't know. He, he looked like he's semi-primed, but maybe that's just a thing that ice wolves do. All we know is that the other ice wolf in the history books was uh, belonged to an ice queen up in the north. I guess back when the north was had a country and not just blighted lands. And uh, yeah, so he belonged to the ice queen up there, and that ice wolf was called Fenrir. So. <laughs> Maybe, maybe Torgal is a dominant. We won't know unless he like fully primes at some point. Still, pretty cool. Uh, also, he uh, may have been able to do that because of his connection to Jill, who is a dominant of uh, Shiva. Especially since the uh, the Ice Queen that we mentioned that I mentioned earlier, uh, she was a dominant of Shiva, so maybe that connection has something to do with why Torgal awakened his Ice Wolf powers. Because Jill was in trouble when when Torgal did that. But uh, we we wiped the floor with Kupka. Cut off both his hands, but then uh, Clive's icon stealing ability kicked in, and he got a headache, and also took you know Titan's iconic powers. And then some other dude showed up in the dust and the smoke, and just picked up Kupka with one hand and walked away with him. We find out that he likely was taken to the Mother Crystal, the Southern Mother Crystal in the desert. And so we started heading that way. We got confirmation from a couple of his men that he did go to the Mother Crystal. And so that's where we're heading. We did have to do a, a couple of side questy stuff in this small town in order to get past the Mokoka's men without starting a big ruckus. Because they were guarding the only path to the, the Mother Crystal. So we had to do some little side questy stuff to, to get them to uh, let us through. So that delayed us a little bit, but now... Now we can head south. Hello. Must make for we should Drake's get going fan. soon. Do you have water? I've got a crystal. So long. Oh yeah. Also, our our uncle showed up at the, the, the hideaway, we'll be all and right. now he's kind of hanging out with us since Jill is currently resting in the infirmary because she's been on, using a lot of Shiva 
and that takes its toll. So our uncle here is gonna tag along to help us out while she's resting. Boy, all this limestone is blinding out here in the desert. My goodness. Also, uh, now that we have Titan's ability, <laughs> he's got a shield, pulls out his giant rock hand, which can also counter the <laughs> shield at the right time to shield an enemy's attack. And then he's also got this raging fist. Just. Plus, a big wind up. Turns into a drill if you let go in the little red area of that build up bar. Yeah. Pretty fun. Quest destination nearby. Good. Good job, Obelisk. There it is. Drake's Fang. Still a ways in the distance. will be hiding inside. Along with goodness knows how many guards all on highest alert. You'll need to keep your wits about you if you're to reach him. So be careful. I will, uncle. Before you go, Clive, allow me to apologize. Mm? After what befell at Phoenix Gate, and the crisis that followed in its wake, I fled. I retreated to my counting house and danced attendance upon the Vicerine in the hope it would bring me favor. I betrayed my nation to save my skin, like the coward I am. And I'm sorry. Uncle, please. It's not too late, Clive. Rosaria is yours by right, and there are those that would help you to take it back. True. Well. Had I the courage of my brother, I might already have done so. But that ship has sailed. You, however... No. Forgive me, but I cannot. I fight to build a new world now. A better world, where men can live and die on their own terms. I was raised in a nation that strove to improve the plight of bearers. Only later did I realize that spark of freedom did not arise by chance but was kindled by my father. You would see me follow in his footsteps. And that is exactly what I mean to do. Not by ruling Rosaria, but by extending his ideals to the whole of the twins. Though every soul in the realm may judge my actions heresy, I am certain my cause is just. You really are just like him, you know. My father? Thank you, Clive, for coming back to me. I am proud to call you nephew. <sighs> well then, this is where we must part ways. Wish me luck in convincing my Canvarian friend to share his considerable talents. I mean to plunder his coffers and prove myself worthy of a place in your merry band. 
Till then, my boy. Till then. Go safely, uncle. And you, nephew. We have much to catch up on, you and I. I should expect you to regale me with the tales of all your adventures when next we meet. <laughs> you can regale me too, Torgal. <laughs> Look at that good boy. I'm coming for you, Kuka. Yeah. Kuka. Ah. All right, here. Let me see if it'll show. Okay, so. There's a new letter. That's likely nothing really. Hunt board. That's all that's new at the hideaway, so I think we'll just press on. <laughs> to Drake's Fang. Well, I guess the Drake's fan couldn't fix his hands. Fuck, fuck, fuck! What is this dirt? What has that gutter rat done to me? My sandwich. Hey, I'll now. kill you, Rossville. Oh, he's the one. I'll rip out your heart. I'll tear you limb from limb. Peace, Hugo. The table shan't hurt you any longer. He sought to humiliate me. Me. No, I sought to kill you. If you hadn't interfered, he would be dead. You truly you, believe you, you would have triumphed had the battle continued? Titan would have ground him into dust! And how would he have done that without his head? Shut up! You weren't strong enough, and you call yourself a dominant. Or rather, you did. You mock me, Harbert. <laughs> Do you yeah. see, Hugo? This is the man who carried Kupka away in the dust. You are the weak. Smoke. Fuck! But so long as that fire burns within you, there is still hope. There may yet be a way for you to take your revenge. Tell me, what must I do? Please! I'll do anything. Just... tell me. The heart. Huh? What of it? A Mother Crystal's heart is the most concentrated source of ether in all creation. Perhaps you could take advantage of that. Of course, the crystal would not yield her blessing to any ordinary man. But then, you are no ordinary man, are you, Hugo? He's suggesting. Clive Rossfield stole your power, but others have suffered a similar fate, and still uh. managed to find the strength to conjure their icon. Benedicta, sure, once, before she died, but she went crazy. Like Benedicta Harmon. Yeah, she's the only one. She too drank of the ether and gained a power beyond human understanding. She did. Benedicta. 
She went crazy, man. She didn't gain a power. My love. I'll avenge you. Sounds like we're gonna need to fight Titan. Run along now, Hugo. You need only follow the light. I wonder what this might do to the Mother Crystal itself. If it'll still be there or what? Muthos is here. Very you well, it shall be so. You may leave everything to me, your majesty. Do you... F do you, like, follow Ultima or something? Sir? Drake's Fang. Because Ultima is the only other person that called Clive the Mythos. through them first. Did the royalists bring them from ash? Mm. Into the darkness. Are the beast men part of the Waluda army now? How the hell did that happen? No. Uh, 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 
think my attack is better. Stupid. Steel Silk hides and Magic Dash. Ball is getting so much of that stuff. They expect me to use it all. Uh... Animals, you should never have left Ash. through this door. Uh, stairs. This must be the way out. Big boy. I won't be sneaking past this one. How did they get in here? Okay. Ah! 
didn't even have to limit break. 2,025 gil, 60 AP, 230 experience, and some meteorites. Corpses around here. Goodness, Kupka's men really took a beating. Getting close to the heart of the mother person. Basically, just through that building. By the flames. Come on, Togo. Now, Clive, I know you said you wouldn't go after the Mother Crystal itself. Why? Kupka never did do things by halves. As if taking the Mother Crystal for his own wasn't enough. He had to build his castle in it. Yeah. What? I mean, it's right here. You know, it wouldn't make sense to come all this way and then leave and then have to come all the way back to destroy it, you know? I mean, of course, Koopka takes priority, but... While we're here, you know, might as well. <laughs> Let the trial begin. Oh boy. What the hell? Oh boy. With me, hold on. Oh, 
Oh, he's dead already. All right then. The Undertaker has been vanquished. 170 AP, 4,050 gil. The favor of lightning thunderstorm. Sharp fangs. <sighs> That was actually pretty easy. I didn't even use any potions yet. Nor did I... Uh, limit break. I was planning on limit breaking soon in order to replenish some health. Seems were expected. Then he died, so... So this is the power of Muthos. Youth? Why do you say it like that? Muthos. I swear you've also said it Mythos. You keep changing the way you pronounce it. I also noticed that every single door that Clyde opens, he pushes it open. He never has to pull them open, he always pushes. So <laughs> interesting that every single door happens to be a push. I wonder if anybody's ever made a comic yet. It's just Clive encountering a pull door and he goes to try and push it and keeps trying to push it and then finds out, oh, it's, it's a pull door. That's awkward. Maybe that's why I can't open these doors because they're pull doors and Clive refuses to pull the door. They only ever push. He's all like, oh, these doors are locked. I can't do anything about it. Babu! Babu! Yes. Is it a push door? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Always is. Bravery. Some opponents will use the ability Bravery to invigorate nearby allies, enhancing their performance in battle. Look for the Attack Up icon and defeat these targets quickly, or risk taking extra damage. <laughs> No. That's better. Oof. Ooh. No. Yeah. This guy. 
not bad. Took a couple hits, but... First orcs, now these nightmares. Is this your doing, Ultima? Oh, uh, most certainly. It's a pull door. Finally, a pull door. We never see any of those. You've been busy, Kupka. But where marry? did you go? The heart of the mother crystal, then. Should be like right over. Yep. There it is. The heart. He's in the sanctuary. I can feel it. Come on, Togo. Save for reverse. Up the heat. I take it we're not jumping from the balcony. Oh, shit.
better be the last of them. Finish you up. Just gonna use a counter, but you know. <sighs> Hey, Kuka. Kuka. My everything. I, I've missed you so much. Kuka! I swear to you, my love. We will never be parted again. What's wrong with him? He's gone crazy. Joshua? Or is it not Joshua?
But if you can do it, then so could I! Learn the ability Brimstone from Titan. Hold and release R2 plus square to emit a violent explosion. Hold R2 and square longer to increase explosion size and strength. Press X at any time to cancel the charge without triggering the, triggering the explosion. If Freight is invulnerable to damage while charging Brimstone, suffering an attack, however, will automatically trigger the explosion. Let's give this a try. Come on, Kuka! 
76,000.
2,000 XP, 380, 5,000 gil. Where did the gil come from? <laughs> We're destroying a whole mountain. Where did this gil come from? Earthen Furies. Two of them. Wait, how do we get up here? I thought we were falling, you know, like, down to- Oh, maybe we were still, like, falling through the corpse of the giant titan. There's the heart of the mother crystal, I guess. How'd it get out here? that supports it. No matter. The time to build a new world is not yet upon us. We will contemplate. What are you, Ultima? Thank you for looking out for us, Joshua. Hmm. One can no more command the power of ether by drowning in its flood than one can constrain the tides by standing in the sea. Uh -huh. I had thought Hugo wiser than this, but it seems his head was full of rocks after all. Titan was strong. To do that. Your Majesty. But Mythos is stronger. For five years, that man lived only for revenge. Clinging fast to a fiction, even as it swept him into the abyss. One 
One cannot change one's nature through force of will alone. Only the Almighty can do that. Hugo Kupka, the man who gave his life for a woman's head. A fool like all the rest. of a mother crystal should be so beautiful. <laughs> well, if you hang out long enough, you'll see the death of two more. Holy Order of the Knights Dragoon. Some medicine, my lord? Look at I have salves, potions, anything you need. Stop bothering me, urchin, or you'll feel the back of my hand. Rude. You must consider your health, my prince. If a show of force is needed to keep the Dalmex at bay, you may trust in your dragoons. I beg you to call on Bahamut only as a last resort. His strength comes at too great a cost. The Empire agreed to an armistice with the Republic, and yet the Emperor still plots its ruin. For now, the Dalmex suspect nothing, and as long as I can hold their gaze, war need not be inevitable. But more than that, Bahamut is the champion of the Empire. When our people look to the heavens, the sight of him gives them hope. Forgive me, Terence. Would that you were my master. But alas. I will always be your loyal servant. Should the Council's brazen maneuvering prompt the Republic to tear up their own treaty and launch a new assault, our soldiers would advance to meet them, cutting across the Central Isles, but not in time to prevent their forces from breaching the southern defenses and storming Twinside. And so the capital would become a battlefield. Thousands of innocents would die. I cannot allow that to happen. There is one small mercy, at least. You will not be forced to do battle with Titan. And you <laughs> sure won't, because he's dead. Would that I could avoid doing battle at all. A thousand pardons, your highness. What is it? Titan's dead, and so is his mother crystal. has been made emperor. Oh. What is the meaning of this? My father's orders. What were they? Quickly! Uh, yes, your highness. His radiance requests that your highness maintain position here and... Gah! Terence, 
Yes, my prince. I must go to the palace. I'll ready your steed. <gasps> what is it now? Forgive hey. the intrusion, your, your highness. highness. I know you. Addies. We stand in the presence of the Phoenix. You wouldn't want to get your fingers burned. I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. Though I admit, I did not expect such a distinguished guest. How many years has it been since the Remembrance Ceremony? Twenty? I thought you long dead. Hey, Do I address a ghost? At least by my count. Many have told me that I look like one. But no. I'm alive. Just. Prince Dion of the House Lesage, I have a tale to tell you. Oh, we, we don't get to hear the tale. At least not yet. Alright, back to the hideaway, I guess. I'd better give Otto the good news. Yeah. Hello, everyone. I single-handedly killed Titan and took out the Drake's Fang, Mother Crystal. Stone the reading table, then we'll loop around. What became of Kupka? Why haven't we heard anything? You're about to hear. Uh, <laughs> what became of Kupka? Uh, he, he, uh, dust to dust. If the state of our coffers is anything, ashes to, to ashes. Desert Alliance. Ah. Sid the Second, I trust you will forgive me for putting you and your dear uncle to the test. I am confident that a man of your position can understand the importance of earning one's trust, especially in times like these. For what is for what it is worth, you now have earned mine, and I can assure you it shall not easily be relinquished. May this be the start of a fruitful relationship. Rusena. I don't think I used any potions on that outing. Well, don't just stand there gawping. Going purse weighing you down. down. Yeah, not a single potion was used. I may purchase another orchestrian roll. Finished, out. are you? For now. Calm down, Karen. Did I just wait? I think he just like as I pass by. Here Hello, for another Vivian. of my lectures. Uh, How may I help you really today? Just here to get these. Here you are. Blips Thus off ends my today's map. lesson. Hey, Nectar. <laughs> what 
what new bounties have we? Ooh, it's five new bounties. Okay, then. A hill to die on. Among Republican merchants, reports abound of caravans being crushed by a black boulder. A creature intermediate in nature, but quite decided in size, strength, and spite. He or she who took it upon themselves to seek out and slay this black mass would earn the eternal gratitude not only of the desert traders, but of the curse breakers who risk life and limb with every trip through the Val Velcroy. The Velcroy Desert, Dalmechia. Soul Stingers, a swarm of vicious vile kin, has of late made its nest near the abandoned village in the fields of Korava. And as the hive has grown, so too has its hunger. Already the stripped corpses of great beasts have been sighted in its vicinity. Should the vile kin be left to their own devices, the nearby settlements shall surely be reduced to naught but a collection of bleached bones within a twelve moon. Alright. Empty hovel Dalmechia. So two in the Dalmechia region. Oh, another... Actually, are they all in... Four out of five are. The last one is a question mark. Strange. Uh, Grimalkin. Just off the sickle. The road that leads from Dalimil to the jaw lies a dead-end canyon, into which travelers moving at night are wont to stray, providing a con constant supply of sustenance for feline most foul with the daytime desert heat ever its own threat to life, and merchants ever mindful not to waste their last shards of crystal on the lighting of lamps, only the monster's demise might save them. Dalmechian traders are wont to say a prayer for unwary travelers journeying from Dalimil to Drakesfag, for there lurks a bloodthirsty brigand, one who appears to be more interested in letting the blood of his quarry than he is in any gill or goods he might plunder from their caravans. If the road is to be made safe again, then at least one traveler passing through the place must not flee, but stand and fight. Urgent notice to all curse breakers. Due to the discovery of a fallen giant in the Rosarian ruins, we have lately been investigating. All work in the region is to be halted with immediate effect, and all members are to proceed no further than the village gate, lest the echo should be awakened by our presence. No further action may be taken without Sid's express permission. The Breaker of Worlds, an S mark rank. Shoo! Back taken out. Oh, that was an A. That, no wonder it was so strong. That's the only thing that's ever been able to kill me thus far. In that case, this guy may prove a challenge, and whatever this is, even more. Alright, we'll speak to Otto since we can't go anywhere else until we do. Clive, you're back. Mm hmm I am. And with glad tidings for once. Very glad tidings. Hugo Kupka is no more. Well, I'll be. All of our comrades who lost their lives back at Sid's place be smiling down at you right now. We had a stolas from Lubor saying Drake's fang had fallen. I expect that was your doing as well, was it? It's... Yeah. It's a long it's story. While I was there. One for all. the history books, I'll bet. Welcome home, Clive. It was quite it's good to be back. You look better. I feel it. That's Which good. means I'm coming on your next little adventure. You're not leaving me behind again. Wouldn't dream of it. Otto, any uh, 
Word on the royalist movements since I've been away. Shouldn't you be putting your feet up? <sighs> if you really want to know, go and have a word with Vivian. Thank you. I will. Makes sense. She's the one that knows these things. Hello, Vivian. Ah, the conquering hero returns. And with hardly a scratch on him. Yep. I may have picked up one or two. <laughs> well, the fact that you came straight to me instead of visiting our resident Physica suggests that you picked up something more important. A scent. The scent of Willudas. The very same. But whatever plans Kupka was hatching with the Royalists, he took them to his grave, as did his men. Slaughtered by the orcs who'd taken over the Fang. Orcs, Vivian. I've never seen such creatures in Storm before. The Waludas must have ferried them over from Ash, but why? Why work to rescue Kukka only to invade his home, the mother crystal of an allied nation, and let both fall? It makes no sense. Do you know the tale of the blind men and the Adamantus? One can often be led astray by focusing too closely on individual details. One must instead see the bigger picture. And what bigger picture is there than my map? All right, let's have a look at the map, Vivian. I suppose an atlas would be a bigger picture, but... The kingdom of Walud claims dominion over all of Ash. It is a nation forged by the bloody conquest of Barnabas Tharm, the dominant of Odin. The Canvarian War of Independence in 849. The Battle of the Twin Realms in 865. The Battle of Belinus Tor in 873. Wheresoever his armies fought, Odin was found where the fighting was fiercest. But of late, the warrior king appears to have laid his sword to rest. Battle rages for control of the crystalline dominion. Yet Tharm sends not a single ship in support of his Dalmechian allies. Yeah. Meanwhile, the Blight ravages great swathes of ash. Yet warlike Walud shows not the faintest interest in laying claim to untouched lands. So why go to the trouble of sending an army of orcs into the heart of Drake's Fang? Only to make no attempt to claim the Mother Crystal for Walud. It can hardly be for lack of men. Tharm's armies rival any in the Twins. No. We have not seen the last of the Waluda standard. Odin will ride again. It is but a question of when. And on that day, who will be trampled underfoot? In summary, I know not to what end the Royalist betrayed Kukka. I know only that it is part of some broader scheme. A scheme tied to the ambitions of one man. King Barnabas. But there is no need to wallow in confusion. If one is to cure a sickness, one must first identify the symptoms. And your Lord Uncle has volunteered to do just that by keeping an eye on the Royalists' movements. <laughs> He's really throwing himself into this. Yeah. Indeed he is. Which means all that remains for us to do is await his reports. Well, not quite all in your case. The people of the hideaway must hear the news. Justice has been done. Hugo Kupka is dead. Yes, The they wounds do need he left that night are still raw. Especially for those who lived with Sid the longest. Tell them that those wounds might finally begin to heal. Consider it the price of today's instruction. I've never known you to be sentimental. <laughs> what can I say? I am only human. And we are, all of us, sentimental animals at heart. I suppose we are. Very well. I'll go and spread the word. And how may I assist you today? 
Who can the fang with the bedrock upon which the Republic stood? Now that both have crumbled, Dalmechia's descent into chaos is all but assured. So what if it's Parliament? You ask? Will the ministers not take it upon themselves to pick up the pieces of their crumbling nation? I doubt it. They have little love for their people, only their own preservation. Which leaves but one man. Standing between Dalmechia and disaster. Former Field Marshal Eugen Havel. If any is to pick up the baton of command, it shall surely be he. <sighs> but as the bitter tides of iron and avarice rise around him, how long will he be able to keep his head above water, I wonder? How may I help you today? I'm just Here you are. Ticking this blip off Thus of the ends map. today's lesson. We're seeing troops amassing at every border across the map. It shall spread the good news. Hugo Kupka is dead. Ugh, I'm never drinking. Also, side note. Something I'm noticing, you know. Each of the icons is like a single entity. You've got the Phoenix, which is a Phoenix. Ifrit, which is Ifrit. Titan is Titan. Garuda is Garuda. Uh, Ramu was Ramu. Bahamut is Bahamut. But then there's Odin. And Odin is not just Odin, because Odin is also riding Sleipnir. Why is Odin so special that he gets to have a mount as well as just being himself ah, an icon? Clive, have you come seeking the gift of knowledge? No. To share mine, actually. Hugo Kupker is dead. He... Oh my. Can, can, can it really be true? <laughs> Look, he's crying. <laughs> he is the big baby. <laughs> okay, children. And with good reason, children. These are tears of joy. We must offer up a prayer to your parents that the heavens might weep with us. There shall be no lessons today, only thanksgiving and merrymaking. Go put away your things. All right. Brilliant. Brilliant. Finally. A new dawn has broken. It has. Thank you, Clive. I cannot wait to share the good news. A new dawn? No, 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 no. That, that's uh, Final Fantasy XIV. After Kuka fell, Ultima came to me. I need to know what he is. Have you learned anything? Alas, no. And not for want of trying. I have scoured nigh every historical tome in our collection and found nothing. Not even the sort of conspicuous absence that might suggest a concealment of fact. One is almost tempted to conclude that such a creature never existed. But I saw him. With my own eyes. I don't doubt that you did. Alas, it seems you are the only one who has. To others, he reveals naught. We see only that which he leaves in his wake, like some terrible force of nature beyond the ken of mortal man. The bringer of death. Whether the Ultima you met with was the being itself, or merely another projection of its power, I know not. But until I do, my investigations shall continue. Thank you. It means a lot. It truly does. Thanks to Sid, the man who hurt your mother and father. I'm sure they're looking down on us now and smiling. I'm smiling too. I'm smiling too. Well, Hello, someone looks pleased with himself. It's true what I'm hearing, then. 
Nothing you. escapes you, Lady Karen. It's true. Kuka is dead. Hmm. No more looking over our shoulders, then. Good. I'm starting to get a crick in my neck. Don't let it go to your head, though. Of course not. Hey, what you got? Is it business? Or pleasure? It's a relief. Feels like we can breathe again. No more living Thank in you, fear. Thank you, Clive. I know I don't say it often, but I mean it. Oh, and best of luck, too. For many here, every other worldly foe paled in comparison to the threat of Hugo Kipka. Now he's gone. We'll finally have time to devote to everyday gripes and grumbles. And as the captain of this little ship, I'm sure you'll be on the receiving end of more than a few. Yeah, I'm sure. Go on, then. Everyone's got a complaint. What is it? Enhancer. Higher damage, less stagger. Though a savvy merchant would have you believe that through arcane magics imbued into the sword at high cost to the supplier, its wielder will experience enhanced strength and dexterity. In truth, it is the reduced weight and increased hardness afforded by the weapon's narrow blade and folded steel that ultimately provides the illusion of these enhancements. Indeed. Hunter's waist cloth. Hunter's arm cloths. <sighs> Fire hate. Sharp fang, steel soap, and whatnot. Let's see if we've got any items to sell while we're here. Uh, none that are just valuables. Come again! Oh, don't. I'm not much bothered we'll either way. I've spoken with the smith. Blackthorn. Do you have a moment? What is it? I'm busy. I wanted to tell you that Hugo Kukra is dead. I can't tell you how long I've been waiting to hear those words. Five years, <laughs> give or take. This is it then. Uh, a new beginning under a new Sid. I'll try to live up to the name. Got a new base. Uh, Kupko is nice. dead. Or Kupka. Let's see if Otto has anything else for me. Yeah, after we see if Black can make us something new. Also, to a bloody riddance. If there was ever a man who deserved a rusty knife in the gut, it was that. <laughs> Not that I'd let you carry around a rusty knife. His death won't bring back the people we lost. But it'll ease a few hearts. Not included. Thank you. So, what it be? Diamond sword. Mm -hmm. First of all, enhancer plus two would be better than my current weapon. A diamond sword would be even better. How do I get a diamond sword, man? We need a white worm bone. Where do we get a white worm bone? That's what I need. Silken sash as well, but wouldn't be as good defensively. Would be better HP wise, but only by like one and only two less defense, so it's not that big of a Boon. Diamond armlets, though. Those would be pretty darn good. Of course, I'd have to be able to craft. Oh, did I? Have I not made this? Maybe I should make that. Ten more defense, three more HP. Yeah, this would be like minus three defense, 
plus one HP compared to this one. I'm just gonna make this. Not bad. If I do yeah, say I so that. myself. Who needs diamond armlets? There's more white room bones. Where am I gonna get white room bones? Hmm. Well, I need at least one. That's for sure. Do I make an enhancer plus two? It would be better than what I've got currently. An extra 25 attack, 10 stagger. This would be 40 in each. What else am I doing with these Earth and Furies, you know? It should last you a good while. Oops, you can thank me later. Next up, the Diamond Sword. That it? I'm fine. And what Return. can I do for you? Coin purse weighing you down? You don't even sell Diamond Swords. Look at selling some things. I could sell a couple of meteorites, to be fair. Well, sharp fangs will sell like 200 of those. I reckon I can find a buyer. So, like a hundred steel silk. I'm thankful you got that much. Oh, shush. And then I think we'll purchase a. Orchestral. Well, let's let's get the lovely dark and deep. You'll not find a better price than that. Okay. Thanks to see. Thank you, Clive. Not just from me, but from Kenneth too. Sure lovely dark and deep. dead that's true look out man we're seeing troops amassing at every border crossing you barely sat down since you came home vivian got you running errands or something just that's spreading the word yeah spreading the word also we killed hugo with his with a sword made out of his so own the professor's got a soft slash is she I'd never have guessed. <laughs> no. She was right, though. Everyone was glad to hear the news. Ah, oh, but you ain't told everyone. I can think of plenty of friends back at the old hideaway who'd sleep more peacefully for knowing. Not least of all Sid. You should tell him. Hmm. You're right. I should. And I will. Well... When you do, be sure to take Mid with you. She's been going at it hammer and tongs down in that workshop of hers, trying to oh, do yeah. her father proud. But I can't remember the last time she visited the old Sod's grave. Very well. I'll suggest it. Hey, God. How are you doing? It was luck, and luck alone. Saw me safely out of the hideaway that night. So many others didn't make it. 
I see them, you know, in my dreams sometimes. I always tell them I'm sorry that I wasn't able to save now. them. now... I can tell them something different. That Kupka's dead. That you avenged them. And I know what they'll say back to me. So let me say it for them. Thank you, Clive. Clive. Oh. Anything catch your eye? Hmm, there is one in the Holy Empire of Sandbrek. And one in the Dalmechian Republic. Oh, I think that's in, like, the little, uh, town we were just recently in. The little market town. Okay. Think you can help? We'll, we'll get back to that. For now, though. Gotta go talk to me. Tell her Kook is dead and tell her that we're gonna go visit her. Is it father's grave, Sid? If I don't come up with something soon. All right, Clive? What do you want? I'm going to visit Sid, and I thought you might like to come with me. Sorry, I'm too busy for all that right now. I've got to get this thermal displacement stack sorted. Thermal... <laughs> displacement stack. Here. And uh, this is for... Only the fastest, finest ship the world has ever seen. The Enterprise. The Enterprise. <laughs> of course. There's the ladder Me and my dad designed it together. Where other vessels rely on the fickle winds to drive them through the water, ours is fitted with mithril engines. And those things have got more push than a behemoth in a bad mood, and more heat than all the hells put together. Which is where the stack comes in. I may have already talked some tight-lipped shipwrights into putting the hull together for me in a little dockyard in Canva. But the stack's a bit more involved, so I'm building it here. Thing is, it's so involved that I'm running behind and it's starting to hold things up over at the shipyard. I'll come and see my dad, though, when I'm done. Whenever that is. <sighs> is there anything I can do to help? Good old Clive. I were hoping you'd say that. First things first, I need some parts making. The sack will be made up of three major components. Uh huh. There's the plate in here that channels hot vapors away from the engine. The helm over the top that disperses all that heat into the air. And the shielding around the sides that stops the rest of the ship from going up in flames. Yep. Yeah. Uh full suit of armor then probably best to take it one piece at a time then you'll need to start with the plating everything else fits onto it i've got the designs and the list of materials here show these to blackthorn he'll know what to do okay. i can't make it not tell them luckily you don't need to luckily you don't need to <laughs> okay I'll go talk to Blackthorn. Why, why didn't... If you already had these plans made up, why didn't you just, like... I mean, I'll take them, but... Editors started reading books that don't have any pictures in them. Mid hasn't been... Editors started reading books that don't have any pictures in them. That's wonderful. Blackthorn, can I ask a favor? How with it? It's for mid. This my last chance to say I'm otherwise engaged. I'd spare myself for your sake. Go on then. What is it this time? She said you would know. Here. Here. Blueprints. It's uh, designs, stuff, things. Gregor's Tate. Well, I don't know what the hell you'd want this for, but I can make it. Won't be easy, though. And I'll need help. Get Gavin Otto in here, will you? All right. Sure. Oi, Gav, Otto, over here.
So Lid's roped us all in here again, has she? Typical. Still. <laughs> Typical. If that's what it takes to get her to visit Sid's grave, I'll do what I can. And, uh, what is it we need to do, exactly? Take a look at this. It's this plating. The usual saw grade steel won't work. We need something that can get very hot, very fast, and still keep its shape. That means an alloy. Something that won't break or buckle at the temperature she's talking about. Which is where you lot come in. I need materials, and I've got my work cut out already. You'll have to fetch them. Now, there's a special kind of sand I'm after that you can only find out in the Velcroy. Stardust, they call it. As for the rest of the stuff, my usual supply should have it in stock. It just needs buying and bringing back here. Well, we'll get it done quicker if we split up. One of us should probably give you an hand coat in the sand. And the other can go and get the rest from this supplier. Right then. Well, make your minds up who's going where, we can get this over with. Gather the necessary materials. Speak with Blackthorn. You going after the Stardust, then, are you? I guess Which so. one of these two lucky souls is going with you? Why does it matter? Hold up. Oh, it's not like it's the most important decision you've ever had to make. Hey! Hey! Listen, man. Up to you who you take to the desert. I mean, Gav's good in a fight, but... You don't have my winning personality. Ah, don't listen to him. You'll be in the lowest of low company with either of us. I guess I'll take Gav. You're going after the Stardust then, are you? Which one of these... I'll take Gav with me. Gav, you're with me. All right, then. So, uh, where do we find this stardust stuff? There's a river that runs through the southern reaches of the Velcroy. It's the black sand that washes up on its banks that you're after. Southern reaches of the Velcroy, eh? That's down past Dallamil. I'll go and scout the place out. See about hiring us a wagon to bring the stuff back to. All right. I'll meet by the river. While you're off having a paddle, I'll pick up the rest of this stuff from Blackthorn's supplier. Take care. You two, eh? Don't yeah. go letting him fleece you. Fleece <laughs> me? I'd like to see him try. <laughs> In your own time. Back in the jiffy, Blackthorn. And by back in the jiffy, I mean. I'll probably be taking out a, quite a few monsters on the hunt board along the way. Also, also mayhaps taking care of this one first. This little side quest, and then we can go over to Domekia, where there is another side quest, and all those beasts to hunt, and our main objective. Good day to you. Besides. Any friend of the innkeeper is a friend any... of mine. Orchestrian rolls, you do have one for 40k. Idyls of the Empire. Hi. Ah, yes! It's a black buddy. We are to take a new set. I still have 70k left. Ah, Quinton, hello. Ah, Clive. Your timing is exquisite as always. I have a concern which you may be able to assist me with. Go on, sir. There are whisperings afoot of shadowy figures having been sighted outside the village. Rustlings in the undergrowth, suspicious noises. My people fear that they are being watched. It may be no more than a surfeit of nerves, understandable in the current climate, or it may be the prelude to something altogether more dangerous. Given what I hope you'll forgive me calling your nose for trouble, I wondered if you might investigate. 
Of course. Right. Excellent. You might begin by speaking with the good citizens of Lostwing. Listen to their tales, and make what you will of them. All right. I will. Great justice. Hello. Right. Let's see what the people of the village have to say. I'd better find out if this is just nerves, or something we need to take more seriously. For sure. Yes, I know. Stall holder. You all right, Sid? Something on your mind? There is, actually. Can I ask you something? Quentin tells me people have mentioned shadowy figures out in the woods. Have you noticed anything unusual? Oh, that. No, sorry, can't help you. I heard the rumors, mind, from the lads working over at the vineyard, but none of them have seen anything either. All right. <laughs> Thanks, anyway. See any have a shadowy moment. figures? There's talk of suspicious figures in the woods. Have you seen anything out of the ordinary? No, but I've heard something. Sound of scraping metal, like someone sharpening a sword. Where was this? In Lorbert's Pass. Was out foraging for herbs when I heard it, screeching out from between the trees. Ran back here as quick as me legs would carry me, and I ain't been back since. I see. I'll look into it. Thank you. All right. Seems Lorbert's Pass is our oh. best bet then. All what right, do you then. say, Togol? Shall we go and investigate? Robert's pass it is. Where's the you boy? there? Fuck! He's seen us. Get them before they escape. Black shields. Here. What the hell are you doing here? What is it to you? Not that we give a damn. All that matters to us is that you don't leave here alive. Good luck, Take a swing. healer sitting at the opposite end of the battlefield from all of his friends unable to heal any of them why were they here were they planning an attack on lost wing i need to warn quentin yes so i'm back to quentin then Flithering 
about. Good day to you. Good day to you, stall holder. <gasps> the crystals were different. All but worthless. Clive. There are black shields. How goes the hunt for our sinister figures? I found some black shields hiding near Lorbert's Pass. They're gone now. Black shields. The Empress's former bloodhounds. Though they serve another master now. One who means to root out and destroy both me and those I care for. And it would appear the pack has finally caught the scent of its prey. Damn it all. I had hoped I would have more time than this. More time to prepare. But if we are cornered, we have no choice but to bite back. And bite back we shall. I'm sorry. You're going to need to explain. Who did the Black Shield serve now? And why would that person want you dead? Yeah. Because I want him dead. Who? The former Lord Chief Justice of San Brack. All that I have built here is for him. I don't understand. Why him? Why Lostwing? I suppose it is better that you know the truth. I was a member of the judiciary once. So sickened was I by the injustice of this world, I swore to fight it. And fight it I did in my own small way. I saw more than a few corrupt officials condemned to the very cells into which they had thrown blameless innocence. Men to whom the law was but a scourge to turn against the powerless. And throughout, it was the Lord Chief Justice who backed me, who was my one true ally in the quest to see justice done. So what changed? I discovered that he hunted bearers for sport. I was a fool to think he shared my hatred of venality and vice. His support for me was no more than a facade, a means of ridding himself of his rivals, a mask to hide the rot beneath. I filed suit against him immediately. His response, however, was rather more visceral. He had my entire family slaughtered. And he faced no punishment whatsoever. I lost everything. My loved ones. My livelihood. My position. The faith I had once held that any modicum of justice might be achieved through the courts. So I set about enacting my own. I tracked down every soul who served him and slit their throats myself. But the man himself proved an altogether more difficult target. Yeah. With money and power come protection. And so I saw that I would need an army of my own. I came here to Lostwing and began recruiting like-minded individuals. And... Everyone here knows this is why you do what you do. Of course. They too have lost loved ones to the bearer hunts. Seen faultless friends sent to the gallows to spare the guilty. All under the watchful eye of the Lord Chief Justice. Our wounds are the same. And our cause is the same. We are comrades. And our revenge is already in motion. We know where he hides how numerous and well-trained his guard. What we did not know until now, however, was that his plans may already be in motion too. Quintin. Our time is short. He may move against us at any moment, unless we move against him first. My friends and comrades, it begins. Make ready for war. For great justice. For great justice. Black blood, that's nice. 400 there. I'm not going to change his mind. And he's got no further quests for us. Why does 
this shop have something new? That's interesting. Let's go take a look. Maybe it's an orchestrian role. And what can I do for you? Oh, it's enhancer, probably. There's an orchestrian roll though. 50,000 before the storm. And a Sheesh. fine, fine day to you. Yeah. Fine day. Let's go to the Dalai Mail Inn, actually. We'll go to the Velcroid Desert. We'll make our way to the Dalai Mail Inn. Fight some beasties along the way. Might head north a bit first. Come on! Ride like the wind. Ooh, twister out here. I'll have a look up here. Beasties from the hunt board. Got some desert roses. You bug. It's only worth like two hundred though. Tito Callan. Well, Clive. Looks like you can beat me in bigger sword.
Thousand five hundred gil, nice. Scarletite, one of the hardest metals known to man. Sixty-five AP, twelve sixty-five XP, and twenty. Okay. It should have stayed at its shell. Should have stayed at its shell. That does it up here. It still seems like there's. Gotta be some way to get across there. Let's take a look. Maybe there is. And I just good go. Fly Ambrosia. Because I was too too busy looking for notorious marks. Aha. Walk from here. Okay. No immediate notorious marks. back. Ooh, there is this whole section up here is probably a notorious mark up there. Run like the wind. Oh, 
Rouge, yeah. Let's look at this sand storm here. Sandstorm getting thick though. to know that it exists. The Hand of Titan, it says. Alright, you know what? Sure. We'll... We'll take out this salamander. You deserve a rest. Check to see if it's possible to do anything with it. What? I dodged... This came in. All right. I mean, when you think about it, we got. We've gone ahead and destroyed three mother crystals. There's only two that remain. Yeah, and we still don't know what to do with those. Chrono, it's. it's... currently working on uh, making a ship for us, the Enterprise. So that's interesting. Oh, 
stuff here. Probably make our way over to that tower there. Before heading towards Dalamil. marks in the desert somewhere. This be gone, Scorpions. I have no quarrel with you. Spider. Okay. My God. Back to it. Clive, 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 Clive. I don't suppose you could hit me hop back up. No. No Skyrim horsing this one. Whoa, almost. Hold on, maybe. I get a really start. Oh, come on. Clive.
Yeah, since uh, oh, there's an item, but blue bug next. Not seeing any. Beasties. Ooh, well, let's just head on into Dalamil, I guess. Could come on. Check out the southern Velcroy Desert. That's also where our main quest is. And there's all of the oh wow, there's there's a lot more. A lot more to this place. Huh. Let's see what this side quest is. No need to ride from here. Take a sniff, good sir. Be transported. There will be no one to man the shop. Come, just like that. And without so much as a buy your leave. What's the matter? Uh, oh, it, it's my apprentice. He up and vanished while my back was turned. I'd go and look for him myself, but I've got a bakery to run. A bakery that's now short, one pair of hands. Loath though I am to rely on the kindness of strangers, I'm at a loss. Please, will you see if you can find him? See what I'll I can see do. what I can do. Do you know where he might have gone? Ah, I wouldn't be surprised if he was off somewhere mooning at Drake's Fang. He used to work there, you see. Poor fool left his heart in its hollow. All right. Then that's where I'll start. Oh. Long ways, bro. I guess we'll just teleport on over. Keep a lookout. Conversion. There is one that we are looking for. The Nine of Knives, rank A. My blade yet hungers, so do I. Come, there is a feast on your flesh. Your feasting days are over. Fire and 
victorious monk slay you. Ooh, 5,750 XP, dude. It's a level right there. Level up. 35. 14,175 gil, 90 AP, 30 notoriety, wirate, and meteorites. Those who kill for sport deserve no better. Come on. Actually, we're not that far away from this quest objective. Still some bruises though. Then say hello. Uh, Thanks, girl. Uh, hello, Dyson. The baker needs you. You know, for your apprenticeship job thing. Excuse me. What do you want? The baker sent me to find you. I am a sorry, selfish sod, aren't I? I'm yeah. certainly not a baker. Master must rue the day he took me in. Time was the sight of the fang used to calm my nerves. But now look at her. I take it you missed the Mother Crystal. I hated her. But she was all I knew. Worked her minds for years. And when she shattered, part of me shattered with her. I had to trade my pickaxe for a rolling pin. But I'm no good at baking. Every loaf I touch collapses. My bread's as hollow as I am. She was the only thing that could fill the hole inside me. Oh, I loved her, damn it. But now she's gone. She's never coming back. What am I supposed to do? I ask her. How does a shell of a man learn to live again? Perhaps express you could express yourself in your work. If you miss the fang, maybe you could recapture it somehow. Recapture it? I'm a baker, not a... You know, you might just be right. What a fool I've been! I have to get back to the bakery right away. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. You have opened my eyes. Uh, all right. Wait. Uh, see ya. Suppose he won't be needing an escort then. Suppose he won't. Well, on the way, we can uh, keep an eye out for more Ready, go. notorious beasties. What are, what are y'all doing out here? Not looking for a fight, right? Nah, no, they're just looking at the, the lack of a fang. Intersection's coming up. We'll check the north branch first. Well, 
no want to fight any of you. We want more need. I fight the notorious. Not you, little pig. Time to fight. No, it's not, but. Seventy-five XP, forty-five AP, eight thousand two hundred thirty-five Gill, and ten notoriety. Grimalkin hide. <sighs> that wasn't too bad, was it, Togo? Use <sighs> a potion. Ambrosia. Let's ride. All right. 
now, what, three? Three out of five? And one of them is in, I think, this area, so... There's only one more in the desert, and I believe it's that swarm of... insects. Yet to explore. That'll do, girl. Okay. Hello, foot pads. Don't get surrounded. the wind oh. now we're out in the savannah Ooh, that's a big coral We have two. Storm Panther. You lost, stranger. Wherever you're headed, it's back the way you came. <laughs> well, I guess we'll head back to town for now. Coming in this side quest. My Take a sniff, good sir. You'll be trans ah, there you are. The man who lit a fire under my wayward apprentice. <laughs> Apparently, Though I worry yeah. you might have stoked the flames a little too high. He damn near ran me down trying to get to my oven. Master, <laughs> it's ready. Behold the Drake's Balm. A truly unique creation. I dare say it is. <laughs> Just look at it. A perfect likeness of the Fang herself. Her steeple peaks, her fulsome spurs, her inviting hollow. True, my loaves collapse more often than not, but what's the fang without her crater? Why, no fang at all. And look, inside, she's filled to bursting with a bounty of beautiful crystals. Salt crystals! 
Master, I have found my purpose. I must use my work here to preserve the memory of the Fang. Uh, well, if it tastes half as unique as it looks, I'd certainly say you're on to something. <laughs> ah, not only is my apprentice back, but he's finally pulling his weight with any luck. I might even have a new delicacy on my hands. I yeah. don't know how you did it, but you have my thanks. That didn't do much, but your thanks are appreciated. 1080 gil, 10 notoriety, 345 XP, goblin coin. Take that now, goblin coin. Alright, let's go have a look at our main quest. Maybe that's looks like I found the river. Now where's Gav? Here you are. Ready, go. Faster. Faster. Deep. Oh, that, that goes on for a while. My goodness. There's so much to this desert that I did not know about. I'm sure we'll learn more later. Right now, my interests are in wasps. And getting this black sand. Never. I've had a quick scout about, and I reckon round here's our best bet if we want to grab as much of this stardust stuff as we can. Don't know what Blackthorn's planning to do with it, though. I asked over in Dalamil, and they seem to think it was worthless. But if stardust is what Blackthorn wants, stardust is what he'll get. There's plenty of this stuff lying about, just begging to be bagged. Then let's get bagging, shall we? We shall. Race, yeah? Fresh destination nearby, yes. Here we go. This doesn't look like black sand, but... So this sure. is stardust. It just looks like black sand to me. It doesn't even look like black sand to me. It looks like white sand. That's clearly white sand. What? Squeenix, man. You didn't even try. Oh, it's three.
And five. That should be enough for now. Let's see how Gav's getting on. Got five bags of sand. How about you, Gav? Good. See, now that looks like black sand. But that's not what what's around us. Where, where'd you get that? You finished? How much did you get? Enough. I hope. I hope. Enough. Oh, you win. That might even be enough for old Blackthorn. Hey, uh, before we go, do you mind if we have a chat? Sure. About Sid and Kupka, I assume. And life. As crazy as it's been. Feels like ages since we had the chance to talk. You know, man to man like. It does, doesn't it? Back when you first took Sid's name, we were talking all the time. Working out what to do in that. <laughs> there was a lot to work out. And there still is. Those shoulders of yours starting to feel the strain. Hardly ever see you around the hideaway nowadays. Always on some errand or other. You can take a day off, you know. Well, says the man who spends most of his time behind enemy lines. Only because you keep sending me there. <laughs> I know I can count on you, Gav. Likewise. So you keep sending me wherever you need to, and I'll keep going. Safe in the knowledge that I have a home to come back to. Thanks to you. Well, there are fewer dominants left in the world, and the one that was right. trying to kill us That's is... That's enough soppy shade yeah. for one day. We'd better get this lot back to Blackthorn before he slings his hammer at someone. You go on ahead. And try to get some rest once you're there. Oh, I plan to. Believe you me. So After you, Blackthorn Clive. gets what he needs, of course. The man who never rests. Right. Ready to go home, boy? This desert sure is bigger than I had known. <laughs> but that's that for now. The Ravazd. In fact, it looks like, judging by the chains that they have set up on this map, it looks like it probably stretches out all the way out here. Like all the way back out to this capital city. But we need to, of course, talk to Desiree, Orchestrian, of course, the blacksmith, but I also want to check in on the hunt or see where exactly those beasties are. And we do need to end this off. Let's hope this is all Blackthorn needs. Let's hope. Because we are a little bit over time. We're seeing troops amassing at every border crossing. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Kupka. <sighs> I thought that... I thought that death would change when things. I close my eyes, 
I can still hear Jara's voice as he whispers for us to run, as he calls out to the soldiers to distract them. His words saved us, and I'll never forget that. It's just like he said, words are immortal. And as, and his live on in me. They changed my life, and I've wanted to thank him ever since. Only I don't know how. I don't know how the... I don't know the right I words. I wish you were here. To teach them to me. Is everything we've received and everything promised? A token. Briar clamshells, 25 of them, 15 desert roses, and 800 AP. Sure. Here you are. I will accept it gladly. I need to get a 550 just to get two meteorites. And 715 for High Cleric's Medallion, 850 to unlock more. Best of luck out there, Sid. Alright, you. Where, where are these beasties, huh? Empty Hovel, Dalmechia. And then question mark out in Rosarian ruins. Empty hollow, right? Where even is that? Got no clue. It is what it said, right? Empty hall. Empty hovel still. That didn't even see anything empty. Hmm. Near an abandoned village in the fields of Korava. Okay. Near an abandoned village in the fields of Korava. That narrows it down a little bit. Oh, right here. Wish I could mark the map. That's where we gotta go, okay. I just swooped up over here. Had I just gone straight down here, I would have found him. Oh well, we'll get to that later. Hey, Nectar, how about your adventures? Did I ever tell you about the time I took a trip to the islands west of Storm? You mean the Iron Kingdom? Is that what you call them, Kubo? In Mugletown, we call them the Smithies and the Strait that Zipper. I was adventuring down the Dalmeki coast when I saw bright lights and black shadows on the. <laughs> Imagine my disappointment when I learned those lights and shadows were busy forges staining. Still far from what I've learned of how the locals treat strangers since Koopa. Why do they just like rapid fire these long sentences? You don't even have time to read them. Just do like you do with most conversations where you let me push X when I'm ready to move on to the next line. So that I can actually read what he's saying, because he doesn't even have voice acting. He just goes, woo, woo, woo. Give me the time to read, or at least give me the controls. So I can push X to continue the conversation when I'm ready. Thanks to see you. Thank you, Clive. Thank you, Clive. Alright, what's... Ideals of the Empire. That's lovely. Alright, Blackthorn. Got your sand. Blackthorn. Got everything you need. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Cheers for the stardust. Should be enough to be getting on with. We should go out on maneuvers together more often. 
Your beats sneaking around on your tud all the time. <laughs> I'll make a start on putting this thermal plating together then. It'll take some time, mind. So if you've got other things to be getting on with, I could do without you breathing down my neck. Thank you, Blackthorn. I'll let Mid know construction's underway. Quest complete. Letting off steam one. 1080 gil. Ooh, I'm at 500 notoriety now. 500 AP. Dude, I've got a lot of AP to spend. Goblin coin, black blood, gill bug. Suppose we'd better be getting back to work too. Give us a shout if you need anything. Of course. I know I can count on you too. Hey, Karen. And what can I do for you? Got some stuff if to If you're going to buy something, be quick about it. I'm not going to buy something. I'm going to be selling something. Oh, here we are. We got five gill bugs. You got out else? Four goblin coins. I'll be thankful you got that much. Two black blood. You got out else? You got out else? Is that all? Is that all? Yes, it, it is. Let's have a look at our abilities here. Um, I might, might learn this. Upgrade mastery loves assignment to any, yeah. So we'll, oh, but I can't quite get that, that's 4,000. Still, if we decide to swap into... Garuda at any time, we can use that. That message just allows assignment. Alright. Well, that will be it for today. Got a lot done. We killed Kupka. We destroyed another mother crystal. That's three mother crystals in as many streams. Not bad. Things are going pretty good. Well, next stream will be on Wednesday for Oxen Free 2. It releases on Wednesday, so I'm gonna play it. And then. We'll be back on Saturday for more Final Fantasy 14 and 16. And then uh, probably more 16 next Monday. Next Monday. At any rate, I'll see you next mission. Bye bye.